Material science and engineering is about stuff. You know, have you ever thought of like how something is, is made? It can be as big as an aircraft or as small as a tiny microelectronic. And I'm one of those lucky professors that can work with wonderful team of students. And some of them are here right behind me working on developing the next generation of materials. Novel materials require state-of-the-art facilities. And that's what we have on both ends of the hard tech corridor. In Indianapolis here, we see the fume hoods, centrifuges, and other facilities that is required to safely synthesize these novel materials. Magazines are like a sheet of paper. They are extremely thin. How thin? One nanometer, one billionth of a meter. So imagine this sheet of paper, the thickness, you slice that 100,000 times. That's how thin the magazines are. The magazines in bulk look like black ink, but what we do, we look at the smallest scale possible. And sometimes when you look at these, you see features that they are not really related to the materials, but your imagination can take you in a whole different area. And we call these nano art. So when you look at this image, you see just broken pieces of grains. But if I just go around and select this area, and to be honest, this is the result of my student's work. And she told us, I see a dragon in this image. So then she added the color and it popped and I could see that dragon. Then if we add a background color and maybe a mouth. So this is how we can turn this black and white image and turn it to a nano art piece. In my lab, my talented students are taking the small steps that will lead to the next giant leap in nanomaterials and nanotechnology. For example, we are the first to look into vaccines for extreme high temperature. Temperature as high as the half of the temperature of the surface of the sun. And those would be applications in aerospace or hypersonics, which is Purdue is well known for. If you want to learn more, visit purdue.edu slash indie.